Hey guys, my name is Salem Sini and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular channel, I focus on two things that are very, very core to who I am. My faith and entrepreneurship. In this channel, I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I want to address something that is quite important at the beginning of the year. Having the right mindset to have an excellent 2018. What can you do to be successful in this new upcoming year that you have? In the past, I used to get caught up a lot on New Year's resolutions. I would make this long list of things I used to do, but you know, they happen to just be wishes. I didn't put a plan together. I didn't put a lot of things in place to be able to execute those New Year's resolution. So I decided instead of just having New Year's resolution, I would just have resolution, be resolved in making changes in my life. So with that in mind, for my life, our ministry, and many things that we do, we decided that 2018 would be the year where we run to win the prize. And that was inspired from 1 Corinthians chapter 9. You can really start from verse 19 all the way to 27, where the Apostle Paul talks about how he was running the race so he can be able to win the prize. And the race that he's referring to there is the race of his life, the race of living this life according to what God had called him to do to live out his whole purpose so that in the end, he may be able to win the prize coming to heaven and coming from the Father and the Father be able to tell him like Jesus said, well done, my good and faithful servant. With that in mind, I said, okay, with 2018, my goal is what can I do to move myself further along the purpose that God has deposited in me? That particular passage of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and when you start reading from verse 19, you go all the way to verse 27, there's really some interesting passages over there. There's one particular passage I want to share with you. One of the things, because this is our theme of the year, we're going to have multiple videos where we talk about this, whether it is through entrepreneurship, business related, motivation related, or it's going to be more faith-based teaching, Bible related. I think this particular theme can apply and be cross-pollinated in both topics. One thing I like in verse 26 that he states, he says, I do not run like someone who's running aimlessly. He said, I do not box like a boxer who is just beating the air. He said, but I train my body very strictly, like the athletes who compete in a race. And one thing I love about that is he gave an analogy that was really powerful about athletes and people who compete in competition, athletic competition in this particular case, how they put their body into strict training. Uh, they put their, the discipline in their body so they can be able to accomplish what's ahead. And that's what I want to share with you today, that for 2018 to be a very, very successful year, I want you to focus. I want you to really take this year as a year where you're going to be disciplining yourself to put yourself further along towards your goals, whether it is business goals, whether it is faith goals, whether it is health goals, whether it is family goals, relationship goals, whether it is getting closer to God. There has to be a level of discipline through your actions, through your resolve. Remember, resolution, you've resolved, you've decided, you've made up your mind about something. So once you have that resolve in you, now to follow through the resolve, you need discipline. So that the discipline is gonna help you through the consistency. When I think about 2018, 2018 is gonna be an incredible year because we get the chance to see the World Cup. It's gonna be in Russia this year. You're gonna have athletes from all around the world. Our soccer players are coming together or as my European and the rest of the world like to say, football. The football players are gonna be coming and we're gonna be competing to find out who is the best international soccer team in the world. You know, I'm thinking about Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Brazil, France, and all the other great, great teams. Germany, I can't forget Germany. So these guys are gonna to compete to find out who are some of the best team there is. But one thing that is actually very key that if you take a closer look, you see that these individuals have been practicing for years. Some of them get a chance right now to showcase things that they've practiced since they were 10 or eight. They've put in long years weeks and months of consistent training, strict discipline. And it's gonna pay off. They're gonna be on a world stage. A lot of people are gonna be looking at them. Well, I'm not promising that you're gonna be on a world stage or a lot of people are gonna cheer and buy your jersey or something like that. But that should not even be the case for you. What you should be more intentional about is 
seeing what the fruits of your discipline are going to bring. The fact that you're going to be more diligent, the fact that you're going to be more focused, the fact that you're just going to be in control of your life. That by itself is very important. You can say, God, please help me have the discipline this year. Help me as I'm trying to draw closer to you. Help me as I'm trying to become more loving to my wife, more loving to my husband. Help me to be the, the, the wife that I need to be. Help me to be the husband I need to be. Help me to create ideas for my business. Help me uh, create different ways to have a residual income, passive income. Help me to multiply 10x my business. Help me to be more generous this year. Help me to understand how to do more philanthropic, nonprofit activities this year. Help me to travel the world. Lord, Help me to have the consistency to be able to accomplish the goal that I set out to do. Even if it's losing weight, I don't want, I want you to understand that there are nothing that you cannot bring to God because God wants to have a relationship with us and he wants us to succeed in every area of our lives. Then if we want to become successful and he's the one who can help us, what put some areas to the side where we don't want him to have control in? If he can help us in those areas as well. This year, I want you to think of yourself as an athlete. You're running the race of life. You're not competing against others. You're competing against failure. You're competing against the enemy, the devil who's trying to distract you from your purpose, who's trying to make you sick, who's trying to make you bitter, who's trying to make you angry, who's trying to distract you from what God has in store for you. So you're not competing against other people reaching their goals because they have their own race, their own purpose in which God has put them on. Another thing that's important, and I'm going to leave you with this, don't compare the way you run to how someone else is running. And the reason I laugh about this is because often when we think of a race, we love comparing, oh, well, I'm running at this speed, that person is running at that speed, or they're not running fast enough, or they're not running like me. Don't worry about how other people are doing their life. I want you to stay focused. Keep one focus ahead. Be like a racehorse. When you look at the derby and the different races that they do, race horses have blinders on that they put next to their eyes so that they can only look forward. They're not distracted about what their friends are doing, the other riders. The only goal is to go forward. In the year 2018, I want you to put blinders on, to be disciplined about doing and attaining the goals that you have. Can you have fun? Yes, I encourage you, do have fun. Can you celebrate when you do win? Yes. But don't celebrate if you're procrastinating, if you're not accomplishing the goal. Be disciplined. You're going to get the results that you're looking for. I pray that this year you run the race and you win the prize at the end. That's all that I have for you. Remember, you're God's very best. I'll see you guys next time.